What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are actually going to be talking about back bay finesse, harbor fishing, um, something that we're going to be throwing a lighter action rod and a smaller rod. That way we can have fun. If you're somebody who likes largemouth bass fishing or freshwater fishing and you prefer throwing something that you can also throw in the freshwater, that's what today's video is going to be talking about. We've gone over a bunch of stuff in the surf, a bunch of stuff for ocean fishing, uh, stuff for off the beach, big, huge fish. But if you are someone who has, let's say, an hour or so after work, you want to go to the beach, try something light, try to get some stripers that are just cruising around just to get your rod bent, this is the video for you. Let's go. First off, everything that I'm going to talk about today, I will link down below. And also down below is a uh, free download of a template for a fishing log. That way you can log down all of your adventures. That way, if you only have an hour to fish, you can look back and say, all right, during these weather conditions, this tide, this worked. So down below, free download, go ahead and hit that up. Of course, there's gotta be a plane over here too. So let's talk about the first thing that actually gets us to the water and catches us fish. That's gonna be a fishing rod. I like a medium fast action rod or a medium heavy fast action rod depending on what I'm doing, what I'm presenting. But most likely I'm gonna go with a medium fast action rod. It's a little bit softer. It's got a good fast tip to it. That way you can hook into some fish really, really quick, very sensitive. But this is the St. Croix Legend Tournament Inshore seven foot medium fast. I have a Nasky 4000, that's a Shimano Nasky 4000 with 15 pound braid. There's really, there's really no reason to jump up to 20 pound. Um, uh, 15 seems to be my favorite for a 4,000. If I'm going on a 3,000, maybe I'd prefer 10 pound. I do put 15 on there as well, but I feel like it just doesn't cast as well on a 3,000 as it does on a 4,000. So 15 pound braid, you can do, um, depending on if you're fishing around a lot of structure or rocks, do the Spectra braid, that's Power Pro, Power Pro Spectra braid or you can do Seaguar uh, Smackdown, which is like a silkier braid. That is what I prefer if it's more open where I'm not banging around rocks because that's a little bit less abrasion resistant towards the rocks than the Spectra braid, which is like a four strand. I believe the Smackdown is eight. So it's a little bit silkier. You'll get farther cast with the, spe the um, Smackdown as opposed to the Spectra. So, a seven foot or a seven foot three medium fast action rod. Like I said, St. Croix Legend Tournament inshore. Phenomenal rod. It's also good if you are a guy that switches up to freshwater a lot. If you wanna get one rod for, for all of it, go with this one. That way you can still fish, fr fish freshwater fishing. Wow, try saying that really, really fast. All right, so rod and reel fishing line is done. Let's jump into hard baits first because I have a bunch of soft baits that I wanna talk about that really are gonna be your best friend when it comes to these, uh, these kinds of conditions. So we're gonna go hard baits first. We're gonna start off with, let's start off with some um, jerk bait style stuff. So these are mag darters. When it comes to the mag darters, that's when I'm gonna prefer the seven foot or seven foot three medium heavy fast over the medium fast. That way you just have a little bit stronger backbone, a little bit more power when you go to set the hook on the slightly larger hooks. Um, it takes a little bit more to set those than a medium. So a five inch or anything smaller mag darter, I prefer a little bit vibrant colors. So we have the white and chartreuse, we have the regular old bone, we have white and red, and then there are some more bunker colors. Can't find them. So this is the, here we go. This would be like a shiner color right there. We have the smaller mag darters, which everything is all hooked up together. So that's the five inch. I think this is four and a quarter. So these are really, really good when you're throwing finesse with that medium fast, as opposed to this one with the medium heavy fast. Then we have some Yozuri's. 
This is another jerk bait. This one has crazy action. You can reel this really, really fast and it stays in, in line with itself. So this is the bunker color. Really small hooks, so you can use it on that medium fast action or just a medium light. I know a lot of guys like this kind of stuff when they're down in uh, like Florida. So we got that. That's a Yozuri. So if you're somebody who also fishes freshwater and likes fishing saltwater, you have a lot of these, these baits that you can actually use for the back bays and light tackle saltwater fishing. That being those jerk baits. These are six cents jerk baits. Uh, they have three hooks on them. When it comes to saltwater fishing, especially around bluefish, you don't want to have all three hooks on there. So take out that middle hook. Uh, you can catch uh, schoolies and little bluefish really easily on these guys. And it's just like everything else. A little bit better action on the, the jerk bait styles as opposed to the mag drotters where you can cast it out and just pop, 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 and they'll, they'll do little darts like that. Um, I prefer to go more for the shad colors or more of a dark bunker. Uh, like I said, these are freshwater lures. They'll work in salt water. We, we catch a lot of like um, good little bluefish on the jerk baits. So that would be a freshwater side. That way you're spending money that you know works in freshwater and saltwater. That way, if you're not somebody who fishes saltwater a lot, you still have your freshwater gear. Just make sure that you rinse everything off no matter what freshwater or, or salt water, you don't want your freshwater gear to rust because a lot of times freshwater is not made for salt water, but will still work. These are a little bit of top water stuff. Uh, I got this in one of those mystery boxes, but a little bottle, bottle style popper. Um, they work really well. This is a salt strong um, popper. It's very similar to the Headens, very similar to um, Spooks, baby spooks. A lot of times you can buy these guys, Super Spook Juniors, in Walmart, so they're they're a little bit cheaper. Just throw on a little hook on there. Top water is really really great when you're fishing and you see bait busting. A lot of times that means bluefish, fluke, stripers are all chasing bait around. You see these around eddy uh, in the eddies around uh, inlets, little pools, little pockets around the sod banks, mussel beds, because fish ambush predators will push them into that so there's no escape. And then you throw your little top water and let it walk on the water like that, or just little poppers like that bottle one we saw. It'll pop and you'll get the fish to attack it that way. Like I said in other videos, Tsunami Talking Poppers, they make them small. I believe this is a four inch as well. And that's another top water where you're gonna be able to get that popping action, but also that side to side walk. There's another one. This is very similar to a, a spook. This is the Sixth Sense um, catwalk. Like I said about the other jerk baits, they have three hooks. You don't need it. When it comes to salt water, you can take these two off and throw a single in there. I just got these right out of the box for fresh water, but they are, they are a good bait. They got a good walk to them and great for the medium fast action as well. All right, let's talk about, let's see a staple when it comes to saltwater fishing and my favorite to throw whenever there's bait around or in pools or working something where there's current where it's just gonna flow on itself and that is the Spikes quarter ounce bucktail. You guys have seen plenty of videos if you've been watching for the last couple of years. I tie these quarter ounce bucktails and you can find them on the website, but they are fantastic for the medium fast, a medium light, medium heavy fast. They have a really strong uh, mustad hook on there and I've caught up to 20 pounders multiple on these and they don't bend out. So I know for a fact if you're catching schoolies or bluefish, the only problem you're gonna have is what leader you're throwing. Um, I've thrown it on 15 pound minimum. Uh, I could throw it up to a 20 or anything bigger than 15, but uh, you don't want to do that when it comes to lighter gear. When it comes to this lighter gear, th these lighter products, you want to be finesse, lighter line as possible. That way you don't take away from the action of the bait. When you're throwing 20 pound, 30 pound mono, um, as a leader, you're taking away from the action of whatever bait. So if you're throwing one of these light jerk baits, if you're throwing 30 pound, 
you're gonna just basically rip that in and it's not gonna have any action. So 15 pound, if you are someone who wants to throw 20, do whatever you want, but 15 pounds seems to be the best that I have found for leader material for, for finesse. Never anything more than that. All right, so a quarter ounce bucktail, throwing this around anything that moves. So if you're fishing inlets, little tiny inlets into harbors, uh, just throw it up and let it float down. These are really great for fluke as well, but we'll get into fluke when season opens up. But right now we're talking about stripers and blues, fantastic bait. I will link these, these down below as well. And then what you see on here, I've always got a swim bait tied on when it comes to fishing finesse or in the back bays for stripers and bluefish. Obviously the bluefish are gonna be more aggressive and chomp them, you're gonna go through more swim baits no matter what brand you use. So I go with the, um, obviously the Sixth Sense Divine Swim Bait. You've seen these a lot on the videos where we're just tossing uh, a swim bait around. They're a little bit less expensive than the Kitex. So in my opinion, I wanna save money. So I'm gonna fish these swim baits. Uh, they work really great. They mimic the, the spearing, the silver sides. They have that great profile for them. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Depending on whatever size you're throwing, you're gonna wanna match the correct hook. So if you're throwing, let's say a 2.7, which are in the truck, 2.7s, you're not gonna throw a five odd hook, right? Um, Six Sense makes the jig heads in a lot of different weights in multiple different weights. So if you don't wanna throw, let's say a 3.2 or a 3.8 on a half ounce or a quarter ounce, because that's all you can find out in the, the, the shops around Long Island is big stuff like that with big hooks. They make eighth ounce heads with sturdy hooks. So we got this eighth ounce head with a big old hook where we can throw the 3.8s and the 4.0 or 4.2s, 4.8s and rig them up and just have that little subtle eighth ounce head with a strong durable hook. And it's very difficult to find those around the shops. You know, you're either getting an eighth ounce with a little tiny hook and you can't throw a big bait. So uh, I'll link these down below. You guys have seen plenty of videos with me fishing the Sixth Sense stuff. They come in 2.7, I think 3.2, 3.8, 4.2, and maybe a 4.8, don't quote me on those sizes, but there's a big range of them, and we catch a lot of stripers on them, we catch a lot of bluefish, and we also have a code for you. We don't make any money off of it, but it saves you 10% on these if you buy them from the Sixth Sense website. So it'll be GRBF on your order for Sixth Sense. Stock up on these, I prefer either the whites right here, um, pearls, uh, something along the shad color, so like a grayer back or a dark back with like a white pearl bottom. Just something that's gonna mimic what we see out here, like the spearing silver sides. Uh, you can go with a more orange color when you see Killies around. That way you can match that hatch as well. So we got swim baits, swim bait heads, jig heads. Another thing that I wanna use a lot uh, in the this season is another six cents product and that's a, a belly weighted or a keel weighted hook it's got that keeper on here so you don't lose as many swim baits when the the stripers pop up but it's also got that flash so if we're fishing like dirtier water we'll be able to actually draw in fish with not only vibration but flash as opposed to just a regular old swim bait with one little paddle tail uh, I don't know, when it comes to freshwater fishing, I don't know how much freshwater fishing you guys do, but when we're throwing like swim baits or something in dirty water, what you want to do is attract the fish in multiple ways. So you have your main, um, main action, which is gonna be that paddle tail, but that secondary action, whether it's a wobble of a, of a swim bait or an extra flash, that's how the fish are gonna detect that specific bait as opposed to the other bait inside the, the, the school of bait fish. So you're gonna have that extra wobble and you're gonna have that flash. So I, I wanna use that a lot. Um, definitely watch the videos, you'll see how, how that performs. But finesse is a lot of matching the hatch. So if we can figure out what's here, uh, what size it is, what color, and as light as possible. So whether it's um, the medium light or a medium fast action rod, or 15 pound braid as opposed to 10 pound braid or 20 pound braid, whatever we need to fix, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna see a lot, of, a lot more fish being caught 
when it comes to back bay fishing and finesse. Now there's a whole video that we can do on back bay fishing with, oh there's ducks everywhere, with the bigger rods, right? So it's not just surf fishing with those 10 foots, it's in the back bays with bigger water, water stronger water, bigger fish. When the big bunker come in, obviously throwing a three inch swim bait on an eighth ounce head is not gonna match the hatch. That's when we're gonna jump up to our nine foot, 10 foot, and just cast out one ounce baits with six inch swim baits, seven inch swim baits, or six inch mag darters, seven inch swatters, something like that. So there's a whole video we can talk about back bay specific, but today we are talking finesse. All right, so when it comes to, oh, we got a bunch of swim baits. Like if there's something to stock up on that's gonna guarantee you a fish, it's a swim bait. Uh, it's subtle and you know, it matches the hatch. Another thing a lot of people don't actually fish with four stripers, and I'm honestly surprised. And I, I guess it's more, uh, on Long Island, we see a lot of guys with boats and a lot more surf fishermen than we do finesse fishing or light tackle fishing for stripers. Obviously, there's a whole group of us that love finesse fishing for stripers. But what I don't see, and you see a lot of this down south, is shrimp. There's a bunch of different shrimp, but the two that I prefer, are the salt strong power prawns i've caught a bunch of stripers on shrimp power prawn and uh they come in a 3.5 and a, i think it's a five inch um i've caught more on the 3.5s so do that like texas rig belly weighted so if you put the shrimp on a, a swim bait head with the weight on top and it's just one exposed hook shrimp don't really dive like that when you put it on a keel weighted hook, like I showed you with that flashing blade, um, take away the blade, just a regular old keel weighted belly hook, shrimp kind of like flutter back down, you know? They'll flutter down like that and they move backwards. So anything that you can try to get a backwards um, movement of them, that's what you're gonna catch the most on because that's more natural. Obviously we don't have shrimp this size, but the profile is there when it comes to dirtier water, they'll see a shrimp and be like, boom, right at them. When it comes to shrimp that we have a lot in the back is more along these Z-Mans. So this is a Slam Shady 2.5, also made by Z-Man with um, Salt Strong. So this is a 2.5 inch. We see a lot of shrimp about this size. So a lot of times we see 2.5 inch and that's where you're gonna want those smaller eighth ounce heads where they have like a 1.0 hook and Six Sense makes those too, I'll link them down below. But you need something that's gonna fit inside the body here, that way it doesn't come out of the tail and affect the action of the tail. So those smaller hooks, those smaller profiles and uh, that's what you're gonna catch these little, um, this is, that's what you're gonna catch the stripers on with these little shrimp. I like uh, the chartreuse when it comes to darker water. That way it's just a little bit more visible, a little bit more flash. Um, the white I like when it's a little bit clearer stained. And I like to get towards the power prawn, which is a little bit more see-through when it's a little bit clearer, cleaner water. That way, it, it, that's what a shrimp looks like naturally, is a little bit clearer. But yeah, I'm really surprised that more people don't actually fish shrimp for stripers. And I'm, I'm honestly more surprised that more people don't fish finesse or light tackle for stripers. Cause there's always fish in the back base, always fish. There's always, if you look on the sod banks and the muscle beds, you take a net out there, you scrape the bottom and pull it up. You're going to catch a ton, a ton of little shrimp. You're going to catch a ton of little bait fish. And honestly, the schoolies need to eat. So they're going to ambush all those muscle beds going after shrimp and there's thousands of them. So it's a feast that's never going to end. So when it comes to light tackle fishing, remember medium fast or medium heavy fast. Uh, you can go with 3000 Nasky. It's like a hundred bucks. So it's a really good reel. I've caught a lot of really good fish on the Naskies. I think most of my light tackle are Naskies and then Stratix, but they're, the Stratix are slightly more expensive. 15 pound braid or 10 pound braid, depending on where you're fishing, um, swim baits, light jigs, um, jerk baits, and make sure you take out those third hooks. There's no reason for them in salt water. Um, and that's about it for light tackle, finesse fishing, back bays, harbors, wherever you might be. If you have questions, feel free to 
ask them down below in the comment section. I will answer them as quick as possible because there's stripers here. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or other people on Instagram about stripers, but there are a ton of fish here already wherever you are and I'm honestly shocked. I, I think my earliest striper is March, uh, April 7th. Uh, that's the first time I've caught stripers or the earliest time I've caught stripers. So who knows, maybe we'll catch some more um, in March. Uh, we're halfway through and they're here already. Uh, that means the bluefish are probably gonna come as well. But with that all being said, guys, as you guys know, uh, six cents GRBF code, um, Waterland with the sunglasses, get yourself some polarized, that's GRBF code as well. I'll link that down below. That way you get 10 and 15% off of those. Frog togs, if you want 15% off of uh, waders, boots, puffies, this jacket, whatever it might be, I'll link that down below. You're gonna use poly15 on frogtogs.com for 15% off. And like I said, with those quarter rounds bucktails, it's very difficult to find those around. So if you want some, we got them up on the website, we're stocked up, we got a bunch of them. So buy them out and uh, catch some fish finesse. If you're someone who just strictly surf fishes and only does the ocean, I highly suggest trying um, back bay light tackle. Because if you do the tackle correct, the correct rod reel line, you're gonna have a blast catching smaller fish. There's always a chance of catching 20 pounders in the back bay, 15 pounders, 10 pounders, and those are big fish on light tackle. So don't miss out, have some fun, take the kids fishing. It's a lot easier in back bays than it is on the ocean. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Oh, my legs. Oh.